The datum plane tool in Creo Parametric 4.0 has a new mid-plane option, and I find that especially convenient for imported geometry. So for example, I found this Arduino Uno board online, and this always seems to happen to me. So here I have one of my default datum planes, ASM right, and it's not in the middle of this board. Also, I have the default datums of the board part visible, and again, they're not located in the middle of the part. So if I want to create a new datum plane in the middle in Creo Parametric 4.0, I just click on the plane tool and I'll select the references that I want to use. For example, I'll select this surface on the side and hold down the control key and select the surface on the other side and it automatically changes it to the mid plane option located in the middle of the part. And let me turn on Oh, it's hidden. Let's right click on it and show it. And there you can see that assembly datum is located now in the middle. And what's great about this is if I activate that part and go into flexible modeling and select the surface and go to move it and we'll drag it out a big distance. You see where the assembly datum is right now. Let's hit the check mark and then go back to the top level assembly and regenerate, you'll notice that ADTM1 automatically updated for the change. But I want to leave the board back on its original dimensions. So let's use the undo button and regenerate and the datum plane goes back to the midpoint. Now for these other different options and intricacies, I'm just going to reduce my screen clutter by opening up the board part itself. And so on the right side of the board, you can see a couple of surfaces that are located at an angle to one another. Well, when we go to create a mid plane, I'll select the one surface and rotate the model and hold down the control key and select the other surface. You'll notice I'm getting the mid plane and by sector one, I'm not sure exactly the logic behind this, but it always ends up out in space. And so you can click on the drop down list and change from by sector one to by sector two, which is going to be 90 degrees to it. And this is more what I would expect to get from the mid plane from those two surfaces. All right, that's great. Let's click the OK button. And I also want to point out that you are not limited to flat plane or surfaces when creating a mid plane. So if I want to create maybe a plane between those two cylinders, let's select one surface. And here is a bit of the trick. If I hold down the control key and select the other surface, it's going to give me a plane going through the middle of those two surfaces, essentially the axes. And I don't have the ability to use the drop down list to change this to mid plane. The trick is you select one of the entities and then go to the drop down list and you'll have the mid plane option. Now, when I hold down the control key, I'm getting a plane in the middle. I will click OK. And right now that data plane is hidden. Hold on, let me go to my layers and unhide this layer. And there you can see the new datum plane. Now I'm going to select this one so I can delete it just to show you a few more of those intricacies. So again, create a plane. If I wanted to select the two axes, I would get the same thing as before. It would be going through the axes, but instead I can choose mid plane, hold down the control key and select that other axis. Now I'm getting the mid plane between them. I'm going to cancel out of here to show you that you can also use this with coordinate systems. So create a plane, select one of these. And right now it's using offset. If I go to the drop down list, change to mid plane and select another coordinate system. And I'm getting it right through the middle. And the same thing if you're mixing and matching geometry like surfaces, edges, and vertices. For example, I go to create a plane and select a surface over here and hold down the control key and get the edge. Well, it's getting through the edge and some angle offset from the original surface. If I go to the drop down list, there's no mid plane option. So again, let's remove the second reference. 
use the drop down list to change to mid plane first and then hold down the control key and select the reference that we want to use. So that's how you use the mid plane and it's very convenient in Creole Parametric 4.0. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you.